Hello, this is Joe. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with um, little known uh, targets to image. Tonight is, I'm really not going to be imaging the target that we're going to be talking about in the video. I have fast forwarded four months to the beginning of this video. Um, <laughs> so this is future Joe based on what you're about to see. So let me take you back a little bit. Let me tell you a little story. We're going to go back in time about four months back into October when I got this idea of wanting to take some images of targets that a lot of people just don't, that you just don't see a lot of. And this was actually my first one. The problem is, is that it was so dim. It's such a dim target that it's taken me this long to get to this point. And I actually had to go out and get some help. Uh, I got to about 82 hours and then I took my final seven hours. So I was in 89 hours on this target and I finally broke down and I got some help from my friend Glenn from the Astroblog channel. And he contributed a bunch of time as well. And then we looked at the data and we tried to make it work and we still figured that we didn't have enough. And at the same time, I was releasing uh, my second or maybe it was my first video on you know, little known targets or unknown targets that you're not imaging. And James from the DSO Imager channel had messaged me and asked me if I was going to do this target. Um, and so what happened was, is that we got together and he said, hey, I've been imaging this as well and I've got 92 hours on it. Well, I figured, hey, James, let's do a collaboration now. If you've watched James' uh, YouTube channel, you know that he really doesn't, uh, make videos of him or his gear. He, he really does these amazing, they are amazing, uh, tutorials on how to process your image and pics inside. So I didn't know how we were going to put this all together and I still don't know how James is going to do his video, but I'm looking forward to when he releases one on it. But I, I definitely wanted to mention him. Uh, him and Glenn helped me out to get this data. Um, but I'm going to go back, I'm going to show you the story, I'm going to take you through the events that unfolded, and then I'm going to show you my image. So stick around, and let's go back in time to October. Wow. 89 hours of data. 89, and it's still not enough. It's still not enough. It, there's just not enough detail, especially around the oxygen area. What can I do? I don't know if I can get much more data on this by myself. Hmm. I know. I know. I got this. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Right. That's that set. <coughs> oh. oh, it's Joe. Hey, Glenn. Hi, Joe. How are you, mate? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really good. So, uh, what are you up to? Hey, would you like to do a collaboration with me? Yeah, Joe, I'd love to do a collaboration. Have you got something in mind? Cool, cool. Hey, um, I was looking at Able 85. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but uh, a lot of people call it the Medulla Nebula. Um, yeah, that, that sounds that sounds like a good idea. Um, I've never heard of that. I've I've never actually shot that target before. Um, I've obviously I'm at 1,200 millimeters. I'd have to check my field of view, of course. Actually, I've already checked for you, and it fits, so you're good to go. Oh man, what's my life come to? Now I've got both you and my wife telling me how to do things. Well, we do know what's best for you, man. Hey, besides that, there's a lot of sulfur in this target, and I know you've been wanting to do some sulfur imaging. Oh yeah, man, since I got that new um, Antlia S2, I really want to check it out. So if there's a load of sulfur in the target, that'll be really good. Awesome, man. 
We'll knock it out of the park, dude. Yeah, that, that that's uh, an American expression. Yeah. Oh man, that'll be great. I can't wait. Let's uh, let's do it. So this is a recording from my first night capturing medulla and we've got the sulfur filter on and we were taking 10 minute subs and I'm thinking to myself at this point that I'm in some big trouble because the medulla nebula is strongest in sulfur and these subs are very very dim and there's not a lot of detail and I'm getting quite nervous at this point. Uh, I did want to take a really good image of this, but I'm starting to realize that it's going to take days and days, if not weeks or even months, to complete this image. And so it's kind of a scary thought, and my guiding was doing so well, uh, and everything was coming along. I almost decided to pick another target, and then I just thought, well, everything's going so great, and everything looks so perfect, that I'm just going to... You know, trudge forward and and see what that first stack looks like and little did I know that this was just one night of over 12 to 15 nights worth of data collection on this one target and that's just what I had and not including what later Glenn and James would would have as well Hi, Glenn. Hey, Joe. How are you, mate? I'm okay. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks, mate. I've uh, been working on this uh, little project of ours. How are you getting on with it? Oh, me too. Um, it's it's awesome, actually. Um, yeah, I've gotten this. It's amazing how much I've gotten in, in a, such a small amount of time. This is going to be uh, one of our my best images ever. Are you are you, are you not finding it a, a bit of a faint target? Not at all, man. It's not faint well, at all. Really? Oh. Not for uh, me. It must be my dark skies. Oh, uh, them, them again, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll keep going with it. I've got, I've got something, but it's very faint. I'm, I'm working hard on it. I'm surprised to hear that you've got what, what, what is it? Really strong? What in all, all the channels? Oh yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's all, yeah. I can't believe people have such a hard time with this target. Okay, Joe. Yeah. If you say so, mate. Right. So, um, uh, so what? Uh, were you, what was you using your edge? You know what? I, could, I ended up I couldn't use my edge. Um, the field of view was all wrong, so I had to switch over to my Z eighty one. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. And, and now I'm in bin one mode on the two ninety four, so the files are huge. <laughs> I was going to say they are. Yeah, they're going to be big, aren't they? Yeah, but I'm going to have to crop in to match your twelve hundred millimeters so i had to use bin one. yeah yeah the 1200 it fits in like you said thank you very much for the guidance okay. um it's really yeah. nice yeah i mean you know if you didn't know great. better you'd think that i had thought this all up before i called you huh? it's fantastic my wife dresses me and you run my hobby so <laughs> everything's sorted I, don't, mm, mm, I hope it's uh, i found the uh editing of what I've got so far, I've done a few little sort of play edits. And it's uh, it's going to need a lot of integration, definitely, <laughs> definitely. What are you thinking, Joe? How many hours? Eight, twelve. Shut up! It's going <laughs> to be ten times that. There's no way you're fibbing, aren't you? I am. You caught me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking I've got about thirty hours, and I can't see a lot. <laughs> So far, I've got 82 hours. And oh, man, that's crazy. It is really difficult to get anything to come out. So I'm hoping that when we combine our data together, we'll be able to get a good image. I'm but... sure. Be f I'm sure we'll get some. I'm sure we'll get something. We'll, um... As you go in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you certainly did. Yeah, yeah. Thanks ever so much for that. It's really nice. <laughs> okay. And why do they call it the medulla? It, to me, it looks more like a, like a garlic bulb. A medulla oblongata. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I hadn't seen that. I, I I flipped mine upside down. I thought it looked like an old man's ball sack. Personally, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I have heard it actually referred to as a deflated balloon, oh. which is actually an old man's woolsack, isn't it? Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be honest. <laughs> so, so. so after my chat with Glenn, I was super excited to get started in putting our data together. And then I quickly realized that we were going to have some issues. So here is the hydrogen alpha session from combining our data. And as you can see, the backgrounds are just too far apart and too different to combine. I was have we were having a hard time getting rid of this box around the around Glenn's data, but mine was also kind of washed out from the moon and from other things. I just had some terrible gradients. So I thought, well, we can still make this work. Uh, we've got some ideas. Glenn had some excellent ideas, and I'll show you that. Hi, everyone. I'm in Photoshop because this is the tool that I use to combine uh, Joe and James's wide field shot with the uh, closed in field of view shot, which was mine, Joe and James's data altogether. So. Um, we could do obviously do a big close-up but we wanted the wide field finished and uh, when Joe put them together um, he did it in Astro Pixel Processor and it did put them together but it left the box showing so with a box around it and it no matter what he tried it was very difficult to to lose the edges of the box so I came into uh, Photoshop after aligning the two pictures together um, in uh, PixInsight um, I came into Photoshop with an idea of what we could do so with um, the wide field underneath and we've got the detailed one on top uh, I'm just going to use the erase brush I've got the hardness set to zero so that it doesn't uh, put a, st a strong edge anywhere and I've made the brush a fairly big size and at the moment I've got the opacity set to 100% and I'm going to just start off by removing basically that was how I managed to blend the two together well that's it that's the story four months in the making we finally got the image completed so that we can show you that I can show you the image um, of nebulae that you aren't imaging <laughs> and you for good reason unless you've got the kind of setup to actually try and image the medulla nebula uh, it's a bear and I don't know if I'll ever tackle it again. Uh, maybe one day in the future I will, but for now, I, I think that uh, I'm, I'm really happy with what we got. I hope that you are as well. Uh, please enjoy the image. Thank you, Glenn and James, for helping me out with this. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.